What's up, YouTube? It's Lance from F22 Studios here with Joe Schmeezy with Sony. Um, we are standing in front of something that I'm very excited about. It's one of our favorite things here at NAB. Uh, this is the Sony, I'm going to try not to mess this up, PXW Z450. And in my opinion, this could be the F800 killer. Uh, we want to talk to Joe here and, uh, and get his opinion on it and, and talk about uh, this really new, cool, exciting camera. So, uh, Joe, tell me uh, some of the cool features. For starters, this OLED is amazing. Color, 1920 by 1080 flip out LCD, pretty exciting stuff. Um, what else is, uh, is going on with this camera? All right, so what we've got here is you're looking at a prototype. And just so you guys know, if you ever come to NAB in the future, whenever you see a red sticker that says Japan on it, it means it's fresh out of the lab. So this guy is basically just the preliminary software. And what we're dealing with here at the NAB is just kind of playing with the feature set, getting feedback from folks. So here's what we can tell you today. This is a two-third inch single chip 4K camera with 3840 by 2160 pixels available for active picture. Um, we've got the ability to output 4K via two cables using segmented interleaved. What that really means is it's a safety way of transporting four, 6G worth of 4K around where I can lose one cable and I won't lose the whole picture. It just makes it a little bit darker. Um, we've also got uh, our brand new Fujinon uh, two third inch 4K lens here, a uh, 3.5, uh, 4.3 to 4 to 13 lens. B4 mount. B4 mount. Right. So we have pictures now you can cut yourself on coming out of this camera. Um, the other thing that's strong in this in this guy is we're going to be coming out with a really aggressive wireless streaming feature set. So we have an online button on the camera you can see right here, um, and this will allow for streaming to be put out of an Ethernet port of on the body of the camera itself. It's a hundred base T connection or we can do wireless streaming out of the camera at six megabits. So we can put in a cell phone card and push up to the cloud, or we can stream it out to a network, and we can pull it down that way. We've got so no more big bulky uh, thing off the back of your camera, you know, giving you radiation possibly. Yep. This is what we're trying for now, to just kind of have it all in-house. And we have some other stuff on the uh, uh, with the wireless streaming, like little boxes that we can put on your network so that even if it's not like a perfectly designed network for proxy that people can use for email and stuff, our boxes know where the Sony information is and make sure it gets to where it has to go. This is called the RX100. It's sort of our uh, traffic cop for our proxy uh, data on networks that uh, aren't 100% built for proxy. And you envision this streaming out to an iPad, a phone, a monitor, what are, what, are, what, are, what are your thoughts? You could do it everything from a producer to, I mean, I, I, I kind of been shocked. I've seen wild stuff go to air these days. So maybe you're streaming directly out to the web. Maybe it's just you got an editor sitting on set and you're trying to do parallel production, just get a cut, see how something's feeling for a sequence. Maybe it's just proxy, just getting put up for safety, or you've gone back to a news base and you're having tons of editors just start working on stuff right there. So it really ends up being dealer's choice. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you get hired again. I'm gonna have to say you did it right. So, you know, yeah. how you want to play the proxy is now on you. Let's talk media. Right. XD disc. What what is this? What's what's happening here? S by S. S by S Pro Plus, ideally, if you're going to be shooting 4K, we just announced we're coming out with one terabyte S by S cards. So, uh, you know, you'll have more than enough time. Uh, or, and, of course, we have 512, 256, 128s. Um, this camera will is a legacy camera, so what that means is it will do every format from DV cam all the way up to 4K. So um, more than enough rope to hang yourself with if you're not good in selecting formats in a camera. So if, it come, if you came out shooting DV cam, that's on you. Um, but we have everything in here that goes back all the way to the originals for tape. And Kodak? Sorry? How about Kodak? Oh, we got XAVC in there. All right, so we'll do the whole thing. DV cam, MPEG IMX standard def in 30, 50, and 25. Then we have the XD cam optical discs formats in 25, 35, and 50. Then we have the M, uh, XAVC formats in 1920 and 4K. And that's all of them right now. I'm Pretty sure I'm not forgetting any of them. It's a lot of options. Fantastic. What's the weight? Uh, weight is not officially final yet, but if it should be comparable to that of an X400 camera. By the way, there is something to know about this. So this is the body of an X400. If you're an existing X400 owner, or think you might want to be, or trying to plan your life around an X400, you can send that camera in, and we will swap out the imager and make it into a Z450 for you. Wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So if you're just saying, hey, you know what? Maybe maybe I'm going to wait for that option that show that project that needs to be 4k you still can have your four your x450 working for you and then do it 
prior to that production. Very cool. Uh, Price point. <laughs> More than a little, less than a lot. Um, what we're looking at that right now, it's not fully settled, but there's a chip in my head that if I say the wrong thing, it'll go off and there'll just be ramen everywhere. So um, it'll think like PDW 700, and if we're really lucky, we're going to surprise you. But we got to finish figuring out what the feature set is because that dictates price and stuff like that. But we're not looking to break the bank on this. There's a reason why, you know, we got the 4300 studio camera but there's a reason we just didn't throw a tape recorder on that because nobody's kind of ready to just go 120 grand per camera thanks for showing up like this is meant to be working in today's world you know it can play hd it can do 4k and it's not meant to break your bank that's the goal speaking of working in today's world when can we expect to be working in in the world with this i would expect right as we get in towards the fall kind of like that ibc time frame we'll be able to give you some publishable spec sheets about what to expect for the feature set and then it's going to be a mad dash rush to try and get it in before the end of the year so but i got to reserve the right to be wrong here because we got to get the feature sets fully lined up so worst case scenario we'll see us in 2017. Well, thanks joe and uh thank you